of our biggest global challenges today is to produce enough food for a growing population. Since 1970, there has been a doubling in the consumption of fish. It would not have been possible without fish farming. There is simply not enough fish in the sea. In fact, fish farming is an excellent way of producing food. While a cow eats 8 kilos of feed to gain 1 kilo, and a pig eats 3 kilos to gain 1 kilo, a farmed salmon eats 1.2 kilos. This should come as no surprise. Fish are cold-blooded and don't use energy to keep warm, and they don't use energy to stand upright. Salmon also utilize protein better than land animals. As such, they need less feed to grow. Farmed fish also eat less than wild fish because they do not need to hunt for food. A wild salmon eats about 10 kilos of wild fish to grow one kilo. So what does a farmed salmon eat? One part of fish feed is fish meal. Fish meal is produced from wild caught fish. Some people are concerned that salmon farming will lead to a depletion of wild fish stocks. The fact is that as salmon farming has grown, from 0 to 1.3 million tons produced, the volume of fish meal produced globally has stayed at the same level as in the 1970s. Fish meal, which was previously used to feed less effective animals, like pigs, is now used to feed salmon and other farmed fish. This is a huge improvement. As fish farmers, we are dependent on wild fish for our feed. That is why we go to great lengths to secure that the fish stocks used in our feed are sustainably managed. We need good availability of these fish stocks also during the next decades. Our use of fish meal brings additional benefits. Globally, around one quarter of the raw material for fish meal is trimmings from other fish. It is not suitable for people, but is excellent feed. Most forage fish is also not edible. According to FAO, the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization, only 10% of forage fish has a potential market in human consumption. The fish are also quite small and bony, so you would normally not eat all of it. These are the fillets. Here you find the head, the guts and the bones. How much of this would you like to eat? Fish oil is a byproduct from fish meal production. When you produce fish meal, you first squeeze the oil out of the fish. Before we started using this oil, it was used for technical purposes, like fuel, paint and hardening of fats like margarine, where the omega-3 in the oil was destructed. We believe it is better to use fish oil for fish farming than for technical purposes. As we produce more and more salmon, we also use less and less fish oil and fish meal. Since 1995, we have almost halved our use of wild fish material to produce feed. In the future, we will continue to reduce our dependence of wild fish raw material while we continue to produce more salmon. The last years, we have increased our production and at the same time reduced our use of fish oil. We actually produce more from less.